Hello everyone, how are you? For today's video, something a little bit different. You'll remember, probably a couple of months ago now, it was like hardcore lockdown, that's what I call it. And I did quite a lot of cooking videos, cooking content. I like to cook and I like food. So I did some of those and there wasn't much else, was there? There wasn't much else that us YouTubers were able to do. I haven't done those since. Uh, lockdown ended. For the next week or so, I'm gonna be filming a video that you're watching right now. I've never had this before, but we have ordered HelloFresh. HelloFresh is a food delivery service. They bring you a box, and in the box is the ingredients for all the meals you need for the week, for however many people you've asked them to send. So I've placed an order for five meals, so that'll cover me and Joe for the week. You get to choose the meals online. I don't really know what to expect. Well, you know, I'm so used to going out and buying the ingredients myself, so having somebody choose them for me and bring them here, it's nice, I don't have to go shopping. I'm waiting for the delivery to arrive. It's gonna be here any minute now. When it gets here, I'll do a little unboxing with you. That was the doorbell. There we go, everyone. This is our HelloFresh delivery. Let's have a look. Inside, you get these things. I think like the menu cards for the food that you've ordered. And then what they do is they basically just package it up like this. So basically you've got your number in the corner here, so that's number three meal. And then they number the package so you know which one is which. What is this? Chilled goods inside, pop me in the fridge, refrigerate on the same day of delivery. Oh, and in here you got all your meats, there's some sausages there. And the idea with HelloFresh is that they give you the exact amount that you need because they're big on, you know, not wasting food and you know, zero waste, all that kind of stuff. Even the packaging is recyclable, so it's good for the environment. So you're doing your, you're getting a nice meal, but you're doing your bit as well, which is what we are all about. So they put the ice packs in there and then they put it inside this insulation so that it stays nice and cold. Everything's well labeled, it seems easy to do. I'll come back to you tonight and we'll see how easy it is to put together. Have a good day, everyone. And there we go. Here we are, we're back in my kitchen. It's been a long time since I've done one of these. Today, the one that I'm making is creamy harissa sausage pasta. It says it takes 30 minutes and it even tells you, I don't know if you can see that there, 1.5 if you're five a day. So it lets you know as well what you're actually eating. Let's see if I've got all the ingredients in here in the bag. Spring onion, Italian olives, and you can see it's a really small amount. Harissa paste. We have got garlic, we have got tomatoes, rigatoni pasta, 200 grams, an onion, a whole onion, some walnuts that apparently need to go in there. And from the freezer bag that I was given, I've got two hickory smoked barbecue sausages and some creme fraiche. I did not buy any of that from Tesco. That is what came to me this morning in the box. Apparently this one only takes uh, 30 minutes to make. On the back, it literally gives you a breakdown of what you have to do step by step. And the first step is to preheat my oven. Haven't done that, I'll do that now. Basically, first of all, I need to put these in the oven. So these go in for the full duration, 25 to 30 minutes. And there they are. <laughs> I could make jokes, but I won't. I'll just put them on the tray and say nothing. Those are gonna go in the oven for half an hour. And in fact, just one second, wait there, I'll just do that. 30 minutes, starting now. And then I just need to do the general prep, which as I say, it is literally step by step. It's idiot proof, so I should be okay. Let's uh, get cracking. So I'm gonna make this creamy harissa sausage pasta, and this, this is how you do it. pretty close. I mean, theirs is more decorative, but very easy to make. The instructions were dead simple to follow and it literally did take 30 minutes. The vegetables were crisp. They weren't gone off even though they came to me in the post. I'm very impressed. Let's give it a taste. It does smell good. Good flavor. I forgot the walnuts. Some walnuts to go on top as well. Some of my camera woman's. Even tells you how many of your five a day you're using, what kind of heat uh, you need on the oven. I'm really happy with it. It tastes good. It looks good. Let's move on to tomorrow's meal. And for day two, Korean style beef tacos. The ingredients are right here. Um, I've just got them out of the bag. As you can see, they give you literally everything. And this made me laugh, look at this. That is the exact amount of white vinegar that I need. To do this for the week, it cost for two people for five meals, uh, I think it was 22 pounds. Normally it's double that, but we found a discount code. We listened to a podcast called Shagged Married Annoyed, and it's by um, Rosie and Chris Ramsey, which we used, and it gave us 50% off for the first week. And then I think for the 
the second and third week, you get 35% off. So if you want to give it a go, why not just jump on their uh, discount code? The code is SHAG. That's S-H-A-G. Use that one and you get 50% off your first week. Anyway, let's get cooking. Doing this HelloFresh stuff, you try things that you wouldn't have tried otherwise. Even the smell of this, this is not something we would normally cook. And there it is, the tacos are ready. Meal number two on the HelloFresh Odyssey. Mmm, nice flavors. It says Korean on the thing. I don't know what makes it Korean, but it certainly tastes different to anything I've eaten before, but very, very nice. HelloFresh so far is delivering. Let's go to meal number three. This is me tomorrow. Almost ready, the meal is almost prepped. Just doing the sauce now, so why not head over to the table and I'll meet you there. No, you just cut there. And there we are, everyone. That is your sticky hoisin mm. chicken with red onion and broccoli. I'm a little bit hot, I'm gonna say this off. The only reason I put this hoodie on is because I've got the same t-shirt on as yesterday and I didn't want you to see, but I've just told you, so I could have just left the hoodie off. This one was 40 minutes, it took, smells really good. However, let's see how it tastes. Really, really good flavor yet again. Haven't had a bad meal yet with HelloFresh. I never know what to say in these bits. What can I talk about? When you're cooking it, it feels like you've not got enough ingredients. When you get to eating it, it's always filling. And I think they're, obviously they've got experts in these kind of things working for them, but it is enough and it does fill you up. So maybe when I cook normally, I cook too much. I think I probably do, because we always have leftovers. But that's one thing I've been very impressed with. Got to say, portion control, you're on it. You know what you're doing. So that was day three. Apologize again for wearing the same t-shirt. I'll try something different tomorrow. And uh, we'll try another meal tomorrow as well, because tomorrow is day four. So I'll see you at day four. And here we go, day four of HelloFresh. I'm gonna be making herbie chicken with red onion mash and garlicky beans. Not a big mash fan, gotta say, gotta be honest with you. Hopefully HelloFresh can change my mind. If anybody can, it's them. This is all the stuff I need to make the meal. We've got the chicken breast fillets that came out of the freezer bag, green beans, fresh herbs, red crumbs, panko bread crumbs, a red onion, balsamic vinegar, potatoes, of course, two mayonnaises, Prov Provencal, Provencal, Provincial? Provincial style herbs as well as the final ingredient. So that is an empty bag, get rid of that. Just threw it on my guitar. Are you gonna hear that? That's the guitar. Anyway, this is everything I need to make this meal. Uh, it takes 50 minutes, apparently one of my five a day in this as well, which I don't quite understand because I've got three vegetables on the plate, but I'm not gonna bore you. I'm gonna crack on and make this. Three, two, one. And there we go, look how easy that was. Joe said it looks like the best one I've made so far. The chicken, Looks amazing. The, the beans have got the balsamic vinegar dressing all over them. It's a creamy onion mash, although I didn't have any butter. They didn't give me butter. That is really, really tasty, particularly the chicken. It's got the breadcrumbs on it and it's got the herbs and spices on top. At no point so far during this experiment have I been disappointed. Every meal has been really tasty. One to go, which is the one I was looking forward to the most. Cheeseburger with wedges and slaw. So that's gonna be meal number five. That's the final one of this, of this video. So one to go, folks, we're almost there. There we go, the final night of the Almost called it Just Eat. I keep doing that. It's not called Just Eat. This is called Hello Fresh. This is the final night of our Hello Fresh meal plan that we booked. This one is uh, just a cheeseburger with wedges and homemade slaw as well, which I don't like, so Joe can even have that. So this one is actually probably turned out the worst out of all five. So it's not a great one to end on. I think I overdid the burger a little bit. Um, I made them a little bit too thick, I think. Um, but a cheeseburger, when it's still a little bit burnt, is still good. We, you know, the British barbecue vibe, that's what I was going for. And the homemade wedges look kind of cool. They look a bit more rustic than you would get at McDonald's. Let's give the burger a try anyway. That's the important bit. Good flavor, just tastes like a cheeseburger. That's all you can really say about it. But I would say go for things that are a bit more out there and a bit more adventurous. Because a cheeseburger, like, you can do that anytime, really. 
but having harissa style chicken or Korean tacos, things like that, it's a little different. And HelloFresh gives you the opportunity to try things that are a little bit different. I would say, we well, we spent about 22 pounds with the discount code. If it was full price, so you're looking at 45 pound for the week, it's quite expensive. But what I would say, there's always discount codes out there. Look for discount codes, and if you can get it discounted, I would say HelloFresh is well worth a go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope it's been informative for you and has given you a little look at what it is to do a HelloFresh meal plan for the week. Uh, we've really enjoyed doing it. If you have any questions about what we've done in the video, please do drop a comment down below um, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.